It's been a minute, I know, since the last video. But I've been busy, as you can see here. And we got a little surprise here. What it started with was, well, we had to make room for this. So there's a pad over there. You can't really see it because of snow. But for the RV, the trailer, and the pop-up, couldn't get three bays. Can only get two because constraints with uh, can't get too close to the septic tank. You know, constraints. You can hear a lot about constraints. Constraints on hydro wires. Can't get too close to them. So couldn't go three wide. No room. Could go up though. So they gave me a variance for going taller. Over here in the old garage, though, things are a little different. It's basically the home for the dailies now. As you can see, the Camaro's in here as well as the the Jeep. And there is a lot more room in here now. Walls are a little more sparse. I still got some extra tools here. But, uh, you know, those are Blake's. For the building of the garage, it was mostly contracted out. I'm, I looked at for more of the interior stuff. There's always those bits and pieces of loose ends and uh, in between contractors that you have to kind of fill the voids and I did all that stuff but for the most part all contracted out. So over here in the garage as you can see uh, Madison's parking here my daughter. I've got all the diagnostic stuff pretty much hung on that wall. The idea was actually to leave all the boxes open so I could tell what's in them but ran out of room believe it or not. Brought over a uh, press over here. It's a bench uh, band saw that actually it's Blake's. Uh, I bought a drill press because I'm just done trying to do it by hand. And some of the cabinets just came over from the other place. But you'll see uh, I put up a pegboard wall. It was just, I'm when I'm looking for solutions, I tend to look for something visually. <laughs> and before all this stuff was just tucked in the drawers. And I'd forget I had a tool and wrap my knuckles and then figure out afterwards that, uh, geez, I had a tool that would have made that job so much easier. So anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. And we've got a uh, uh, wash basin over here, which is really helpful. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I got everything hung up. We've got the fridge, we got the TV, and uh, brought over all the pictures and everything else. But yeah, this was what I really wanted to get up. Some of the stuff is Blake's, some of it's mine, but we just kind of combined a lot of our tools. So. so the big surprise was I ordered a new vet, the C8 Corvette being rear engine. And that was something I was waiting for a long time. I really wanted one. So after waiting 19 months, it finally came in. And uh, it arrived just before a big Christmas storm uh, that we were getting. So uh, we rushed the car back right before the storm, night before the storm, actually. And I was super excited with this thing. It's, it's fantastic. But I got it home. Didn't want to drive it in the salt or anything else. So it's got 88 kilometers. And that's where it sits with 88 kilometers on it. Went for the stealth trim where it's all blacked out. And the two-tone red. I really like it. Turned out cool. Just red stitching. Two-tone seats. Love it. Forgot I gotta take these off. Well, I don't understand why that's so satisfying. Probably find more around here somewhere. It's cool. It's the 70th anniversary. There's a motor back there. So, uh, anyways, it's uh, basically, it, it's not exactly what I wanted. It's the color I wanted. Uh, the big thing is uh, constraints. You know, here are constraints of the freaking house and constraints with the car. So, uh, part shortage is, of course, with uh, the car. I, I wanted red calipers. Didn't get those because that uh, was on constraint along with the red engine cover. That was on constraint. Uh, ended up with the Z51 package. Uh, but 
I did wasn't necessarily didn't really want that didn't really care didn't matter but I did want magnetic ride and that was unconstrained so didn't get that but after 19 months of waiting I was just you know I'm okay <laughs> just get get me the car with what options I could get and uh, so that, that was uh, uh, happy to get that and it came in just in time for Christmas so that was a great great present so that's the big reveal I was looking forward to getting these things out in the spring and then just overnight we just got dumped on. It got a foot of snow and uh, we had a pretty late winter so I thought spring was coming soon and I was going to get these out soon but maybe not. In the end I do have plans for the Corvette. I don't know if I'll go as far as what I did with the Camaro but maybe I'll uh, maybe do some wheels. I was planning to do some wheels and some other stuff to it but we'll see how it goes. Uh, I do have to, when I mean we got it out in a hurry, we got it out in a hurry because they didn't finish all the uh, pre-purchase inspection where, uh, you know, it still needs, I can still see marks on the car for my manipulators that were picking up, say, like the, the back hood and uh, stuff like that. You can still see marks, so it needs to be clay barred and I want to do a ceramic coating on it, so I'll do that next on it. Uh, as for the Countach, I plan to do more work on the dash, but... Uh, in the end, I just didn't have time for it. I got more parts from Mav at uh, By the Horns to put in there for that dash, but I think I'll just leave it now because if I start it now, I'll never finish it in time for drive time. So anyways, uh, that about does it for now. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing and liking this video for me. See ya.